Hi, this is Shiva Rajaya from VitalCoaching.com. We are talking about breakups for men, and the topic for this video is stay away from alcohol and drugs. This is part of something much vaster, which is called self-destructive spirals. When you're in the breakup zone, things can happen that create this snowball effect where everything starts collapsing. You might lose your house, you might lose your job, you might lose your health in the process, you might lose your friends, your social circle might collapse. So what is really important is to keep the challenge contained. What's going on? I had a woman in my life, we were coupling, and that woman is gone. That's it, this is the challenge. If you keep it contained and just do that, most of the times it's like, it's a challenge that you can handle. Things get really out of control when you let that experience negatively impact on other areas of your life. So you have to be really smart. Realize that right now, your life is under attack. You heard me say that before. The reason why I say it is because a breakup can literally destroy your life. The risk is high. Many men end up completely collapsing and allowing the breakup to turn into a self-destructive spiral. So what I'm here to do is to protect your life, to help you protect your life, make you realize that there are certain actions that you can take that are going to have such a negative impact on your life that it might be really hard to recover. And so when I say stay away from alcohol and drugs, it's because it's very important to stay really centered and have your full ability, your full awareness, your full consciousness to deal with the challenges that are coming your way. When you are drunk, you do stupid shit. You do stupid things. You might call her in inappropriate moments. You might say things that you might regret. And then you have to apologize and it creates, you know, reactions. Stay away from alcohol and drugs. Don't engage into something that alters your ability to be present in full consciousness. Whatever archetypes or whatever model you have in your mind about going to the pub or to a bar somewhere and getting drunk with friends, don't do it. Stay present. Feel what's happening. Don't numb yourself. Stay present with the emotions. Stay present with what's happening. Find other ways of digesting the overload of maybe pain or suffering or, or um, sadness that you might feel. Don't get drunk. Don't lose your mind in the process. And check also the other possibilities that you have to sidetrack your life. It's very, very important to protect your life, to protect the different areas of your being. Your job, your career, your business, whatever you are doing on a professional level, your social circle, second one, your health. Stay focused. Refocus your energy on what matters and don't don't allow yourself to spin in any form in a self-destructive spiral. This is primordial. What I'm giving you right now is probably the most important tactic, the most important mindset, the most important thing that you have to keep in you really centered. It is the idea that the breakup can create a snowball effect that might impact on other areas of your life. Keep the breakup contained. Come back to the real facts. The real facts is this. There was a woman in your life. This woman is no longer in your life. Everything else is a story. Stick to it. Stay away from alcohol and drugs.